America's favorite characters lives in a world of fantasy and animation, but up till now, this guy who is also one of the world's most famous movie stars has spent most of his time on the screen or on the ground. Well, things have changed. Now Mickey Mouse has taken flight. Jill is with Mickey and the man who is sending him aloft. Jill. Peter, Mickey Mouse has always been bigger than life to his fans, but now people will see his face flying across the skies in the form of a giant hot air balloon. Of course, it's all part of Walt Disney World's year-long 15th birthday celebration, and Mickey and his pilot, Captain Bob Carlton, are starting a tour of major cities across our country, and they are starting that tour here in South Florida. Is that right? That's correct. Yeah. Now, of course, Mickey, you agree, right? We want to explain to everybody, I do believe most people know that, that Mickey is a highly animated character, but not very talkative, right? You say very little, right? <laughs> you say hello to everybody, though. Um, Mickey, have you had a ride yet in the balloon? Are you thinking about uh, taking a trip in the balloon? Did you hear that, Bob? Pretty soon. Pretty soon? Now, you, what is, is so exciting ab about taking this tour across all the cities in the country with, with Mickey and, and the idea of a hot air balloon? How'd that happen? Uh, I think because of its uh, unique shape. It's a special shape balloon. Mm -hmm. It was built in England. Right. Um, and well, brought... let's, wait a second, before you describe it, I, we have some videotape of the balloon. We just happened to have some pictures of Air Force One, as it's called. This is Air Force One when it was being tested in England. You can go ahead and talk about it. Tell us, tell us a little bit about the balloon. Okay, the balloon is 100 feet tall, and uh, it actually displaces uh, 90,000 cubic feet. It was built in England and brought over here uh, for its maiden flight in October 2nd for the celebration of the 15th anniversary of Walt Disney World. And now we're getting ready to uh, go all across the country on this uh, tour to bring a bit of the birthday party to everyone. Looks like everybody was out there. There's Pluto and Chip and Dale and the whole gang. Now that shaped balloon looks different than what most of us are used to seeing. Is that you've got thousands of hours of, uh, of experience in piloting hot air balloons. Is it different? Uh, not really. The, um, the best part about it is that it really uh, draws attention uh, like you wouldn't believe. I, I can imagine, Mickey, that people get pretty excited when, when they see you uh, drifting across the skies, don't they? What do, what do they say usually, Bob, uh, and, and what's, what's been Mickey's uh, comments on all this? What have been Mickey's comments? Well, it's, it's neat to see uh, Mickey go airborne and to uh, be a part of uh, the celebration. One thing that you're doing when you're on this tour is you're visiting children in hospitals. In fact, this afternoon you, you're going over to Miami Children's Hospital, right? You're going to really cheer up some kids over there, aren't you, Mickey? Yeah. What other plans does Mickey have while he's here today? Uh, 3.30, we'll be down at City Hall and uh, we'll take a flight from uh, City Hall in Coconut Grove uh, to wherever the wind takes us. And uh, we'll have Mickey down there, and I think everybody should come out and uh, see Mickey and get us uh, airborne. So it's really a chance for everybody to see a little bit of Disney World in their own city, right? That's correct. Yeah. Well, I, ho I hope that you two have a great time here, Mickey. Thank you. And, of course, we're going to go with you this afternoon, and uh, we'll have a, a big report on all your activities here today on News Center 7 at 6, so I look forward to this afternoon, too. Thank you, Bob Carlton. Thank you. And Mickey Mouse. Peter? Bob, just make sure you don't take off in the west wind. You could end up in the Bahamas. That's not necessarily bad, though. Up next, Bill Ross tells us if it's good flying weather for Mickey's hot air balloon and your complete afternoon forecast still to come on New Center 17.